Oh, Volvo. Safe and flashy. Like me. Sheldon, I haven't had my coffee yet. I thought you might say that. Thank you. I'm not a coffee drinker. I hope you like seven sugars. <coughs> so what's so important it got you outside? I had an idea that I think might be beneficial to both the university and me. An exclusive summer program led by a prestigious scientist of my choosing. Well, I've got an idea. Apply to a school that already has it, get in and go there. And to be honest, with my current resume, I may not get in anywhere. Which is why we need a program like this. Sheldon, we don't have the time or the resources to create a brand new summer program. Oh, that's just sleepy talk. Take a few more sips, let that sugar kick in. The answer is no. I knew I should have put whiskey in that coffee. Come on, Cooper. See? He's been here since this morning. He won't leave. What do you want me to do? Get him to leave. Oh, good. You're both here. This will go faster with three of us. Now, do it. Give him the boot. <laughs> Trying to solve unified field theory? Yes. Who needs a summer program if you can solve what Albert Einstein couldn't? Let's see Caltech say no to this. Sheldon, you're not going to solve this in an afternoon. Or ever. Well, I need to do something to stand out. I think you're putting too much pressure on this summer program. You can apply next year. Well, I can't wait a whole other year. I'll fall even farther behind. And then when I'm applying to Columbia, Sam will be using her letter of recommendation to get into Caltech. And then when I apply to Caltech, they'll say, oh, you're from East Texas Tech, too? Well, you must know Sam. She's been here a year longer than you, and you'll never catch up. I think you need to calm down. I can't calm down. I have to keep pushing myself, or I'll fall farther and farther behind until I'm an aging professor in a small university with nothing to show for my work. Ouch, I think he's talking about you. I think he's talking about us. No. I'm wasting too much time sleeping at night. In fact, where's the coffee machine? Perhaps it is time I start chasing that caffeine dragon. Sheldon, listen to us. Why should I? You let this happen to me. You failed as my mentors. What are you doing? You're still the student. This is still my office, and it's time for you to leave. I'm afraid he's right. Falling on my head And just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed Nothing seems to fit Those raindrops Why are you listening to this? I was upset. This is the most angst-filled song I could find in Mom's record collection. What's wrong? These are grown-up problems you wouldn't understand. Okay, bye. I was the youngest student at the university, and now... I thought I wouldn't understand your problems. Well, you're all I've got. I always assumed that I'd be the youngest student in grad school and then the youngest person to win the Nobel Prize, and now it's all slipping away. No one cares how old you are. Really? You don't think I get treated special because of my age and intellect? I guess you do get everything you want all the time. See? Whenever you're obnoxious, it's always, poor Sheldon, he doesn't know any better. Exactly. Poor Sheldon. At grad school, everybody's going to be smart. If I'm not the youngest, how am I going to stand out? Sheldon. You're a kid talking about going to grad school. You have no problems. I knew you wouldn't understand. I do. Instead of being a kid genius, you're worried you're just going to be a regular genius, which is a stupid thing for a genius to worry about. Well, stupid or not, I may not get to go to Caltech until I'm 15. Wait, this is about when you move out? Yes. I take it back. This is a big deal. And I just wanted to say I'm sorry for my behavior. I realize that I'm going to age out of being a child prodigy, regardless of your help. I appreciate that. It takes maturity to admit when you're wrong. I know. Even this apology has grown up. Oh, this is all a disaster. Son, it's not. Believe me, no one is more excited for you to go to grad school than I am. I don't know. You should talk to my sister. Anyway, thank you for hearing me out. Actually, Sheldon, I do have some news. I reached out to a colleague who's doing a summer research program at the University of Heidelberg, and I think I can get you in. Heidelberg, Germany. A summer program 5,000 miles away. Only a fool would say no to that. Well, that would certainly help my grad school applications. Yes, and they're doing exciting work on super strings. Fantastisch? That's German for fantastic. Ich helfe dir beim Packen. That's German for I'll help you pack. 